Okay, so don't mind this. <laughs> if you watch the vlog from today, it explains why there's a little line here. My husband's clippers stopped working as he was fixing it, so hopefully that'll be fixed later today. Um, but anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about the ever-continuing step-parenting saga that is my life and let you guys in on what's been happening more recently that's really starting to irritate me. So I don't know if um, Jacob's mom realizes that I can see everything that they post on Facebook, but so we haven't had Jacob over here the last two weekends in a row. Now my husband is supposed to get Jacob every other weekend, that is their custody agreement. And um, my husband also pays 60% of his income in child support. So that is one of the main reasons why we are struggling so much over here. Um, which obviously I understand about child support. And I would not want him to not support Jacob. So please don't misunderstand me when I say that. Um, so I feel like if that is the custody agreement... Why is it that Jacob has not been here in the last two weeks in a row? So um, this past weekend, we were told that Jacob was, wasn't going to come over here because it is his little cousin's birthday or whatever. Um, and they were having a birthday party. Well, now, like I said, I don't know if Jacob's mom doesn't remember that I'm friends with them all on Facebook but I saw her sister post on Facebook that her daughter's birthday party was not this past weekend it is next weekend so I'm going to be really really aggravated if we get another call on Thursday night because lately they've been basically deciding whether or not Jacob is going to be coming over here on Thursday night knowing that we pick him up on Friday. So we have no idea. We can't make plans to do anything with Jacob or anything like that because we have no idea when he's coming over or if he's coming over, we find out on Thursday night and we pick him up at like 11.30 on Friday, usually, unless my husband is working Friday, then we pick him up after he gets off work. So the real irritating part is, like I said, I don't understand why they're lying. Um, there was another weekend where they told us that Jacob was sick and so they didn't want to send him over here because I have chronic illnesses and they didn't want me to get sick, which I kind of wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they were being nice. But then Sunday afternoon um, on that specific weekend, I found on Facebook pictures of Jacob and them at another party. For what that party was, I can't remember. But, I mean, here's the thing. If Jacob doesn't want to come over, that is completely fine. You know, me and my husband both talked about this yesterday. If it's his decision that he doesn't want to come over one weekend because they're doing a party or they're doing something fun, whatever, that's completely fine with us. He's 15, almost, he'll be 16 in a couple of months. And, you know, if he chooses to stay with his mom for the weekend, that's fine. We understand that. We are okay with that. However, why lie about it? Why sit here and say that he's sick? And we even asked Jacob the next time that he came over after that weekend, we asked him, you know, how are you feeling? Because we heard you were sick. And he said, oh, I had a headache. A headache? Um, we asked him you know, like how long did the headache last and was it like a migraine, something like that, because that would be more understandable. And he said, no, I took a Tylenol and I felt better in a couple hours. Really? Like that's, that's the kind of stuff that irritates me. Like if I feel like if my husband is going to be paying 60% of his income and the agreement is that he gets Jacob every other weekend, he should be getting Jacob every other weekend. And he lives over there. So why do they specifically plan things on the weekends 
Now, mind you, I could understand if they all had jobs, but they don't. All of them, except for one person over there, is on disability. And, I mean, not counting Jacob, because obviously he's a teenager, he's still in high school. Um, I'm not saying there's anything bad with being on disability, but considering the fact that all of you are on disability, so you're home all day long, why couldn't you plan some of these things during the day, during the week, so then he can still come see his dad? I mean, tell me if I'm being a little bit unreasonable here, but I really don't feel like I am, because if that's the custody agreement, then that's what needs to be followed. And um, I'm not trying to start drama or anything like that either, so don't get me wrong, but it's just really freaking irritating. Like, I would love to be able to plan fun things to do with Jacob, you know, like going bowling or there's certain events like on Facebook. I look through the events to find like free stuff going on in the community just to see if it's maybe something that Jacob would like to go to, but I can't plan for something like that or register for an event or anything and then find out the day before that he's not going to be coming over. You know, it's, it's really irritating. And then like with my husband's job, he's supposed to get every, every other weekend off. They've scheduled him since he went back to the job. Um, he quit in August, I want to say it was, and he went back in November or December. And since he started back at that job, he has worked every single weekend. It hasn't been both days during the weekend, but it's at least one day during every single weekend. And my husband is the only person that works at that specific location that has kids. And I don't think it's too much to ask to get every other weekend off, you know, when he's spending time with his son. I don't see how that's being unreasonable. I don't see how they can just justify making him work every single weekend and then saying, well, it's only one day. No, because if I had a child who didn't live with me and all I'm asking of my employer is to have every other weekend off, why is that so hard? That's another topic, but I mean, am I being unreasonable here? Am I just taking it to another level that it doesn't need to go to? How would you guys feel if you were in this situation? I'm curious to know because I'm, my mind is just like, <sighs> because first of all, why do you have to lie? If he doesn't want to come over, that's perfectly fine. Just say that, you know, and why do you have to lie? Like if he's going to a party and that's why you're keeping him there, then keep him there. If he doesn't want to come over and you're saying it's because there's a party, which I find out on Facebook in a couple days after you told us there was a party that it's not until the next weekend, then that's a problem. Because, um, you know, we are being honest with you, so it would be a little nice if you could be honest with us. But anyways, that's enough for this video. I hope you guys got something out of it. Again, let me know what you think about what I talked about in this video, and I will talk to you guys again in my next video.